Sagittarius, welcoming guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another tarot reading with myself, Joe. We shall not waste no time, Sadhus. Let's get right into this. Let's have a look at your first one. I'm going to do a very quick reading for you today. We've got the Devil, Five of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. So the Devil uh, can often represent addictions here. So anything that you are doing too much of, um, this could be an, a, a sexual addiction drink, drugs, anything you're doing too much of, basically. But um, if we look at the card, okay, we've got two people chained to one another. So this could definitely, definitely have something to do with, like, a soul tie. I want to stress again that sexual energy there. It doesn't have to be, but uh, something that you may be having obsessive thoughts about something here as well. Um, with the five of pentacles that is a feeling of being left out in the cold or somebody giving you the cold shoulder um it's almost as if you know these chains have been broken in some way okay and you're feeling left out in the cold because it's like you're still in this place or they are still in this place and you're not okay it's more like um you're wanting to go towards something traditional here or perhaps even on a spiritual path yeah i could directly be talking about your person here but um please do take it as it resonates for you the hierophant is a very spiritual card and does represent traditions i.e marriage um uh, a committed relationship then um it doesn't have to be that again it could be something very religious as well uh, this this could be why you're feeling left out in the cold. Perhaps somebody's chose their spiritual path and, you know, you're still wanting this kind of energy. And that it can be very toxic as well. So that's something to have a look at there as well. Uh, Sagittarius, King of Swords, Five of Swords and the Sun. Lots of thoughts for you here. As I said, it's something for you to look at. The King of Swords is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the King of Swords is a very honest person, uh, speaks their truth. Uh, the sword that they hold um, is just, it's its wielded t with truth. It's sealed with truth. So everything they speak it is, be sure that this is the truth. And perhaps this is you. Perhaps uh, somebody's finding it difficult to understand your truth. Because um, there's, right underneath the five of pentacles as well is the five of swords. So that's two fives. And the five of swords is you know, that feeling or feeling defeated and um, perhaps you're trying to explain something here and not getting your point across. So in turn, you feel a bit cold. OK, perhaps you are needing to take a traditional approach towards this thing or this person. The sun is the happiest card of the deck and representing Leo's. Not necessarily that you are connecting with one, but if you are, then you are. Sagittarius. But yes, with the sun card, as I said, the happiest card of the deck. Um, there is a child here so it's either you know some childlike energy that you you received from this situation here and this could even be your ego even a little ego boost from this situation or perhaps you just this kind of brought out a, a, even a child even it could that could be the case i'm very drawn to the the child on this card doesn't have to be that way. We shall clarify that card quickly. Go very quickly, Sagittarius. Why does something happen to Sagittarius, please? And we have the Chariot and the Ace of Cups. So there's something new, perhaps even new energy. This could be the birth of a child. Perhaps that's what you're finding out. Perhaps that's why this connection has been broken. Uh, perhaps it's even immature energy. Uh, with the chariot, that's forward movement. It's like going ahead with this energy, with something new here. This is happening. This is having the courage to kind of indulge in something happier, even. Let's read on, Sergi. Let's read on. Okay, so we've got the Emperor, we've got the Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands being communication, and again we have the Chariot, so there's some communication that brings about, okay, let's start with the Emperor, okay, because this is, this is quite a powerful energy here, the Emperor is a boss, it's like all four kings in one, the Emperor knows what they want, yeah, um, and they go after it, this is, um, 
I'm going to say as well, the emperor can be very controlling. They like to sit in their power. They like to be in control of, you know, their environment and, and the things that are happening. Not necessarily that it can always happen that way. But um, definitely there's something you're trying to control or perhaps even losing control with that defeated energy there. Communication. This is an important part of uh, this story here for you, Sagittarius, because I feel after this communication, which could mean travel, but I see back and forth, whether this be travel or communication, there's communi even if it is travel, there's communication taking place here, and I do hope you're following the story, guys, but there's lots of communication, okay, and I feel like you are expressing, you know, trying to gain back some control there once. Once this communication takes place, there's something that moves forward. There's lots of forward movement here. And again, I want to go back to this sun card. It's a happier time, but there may be something to do with children or a child. Or perhaps that's how this person makes you feel, Sagittarius. But lots of forward movement after this communication. Yeah. Let's um, see what the oracle has to say for you today. So let's get your oracle advice. What's your advice for Sagittarius? Oh, wow, that just came flying now. And we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus. Seed in the light, laying foundation, divine plan. There you go. As I said, the emperor likes to be in control. There's something that you, you have a plan. And this is what's going to be expressed, okay? Perhaps there's something, foundations you are needing to set. There's some sort of, I don't know whether it be boundaries. There's something that you are setting. So it works. Um, perhaps in the favour of all involved, yeah? So it may not just be one person. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. So yeah, it's not something that you need to take to heart. And I did pick up on that childlike energy. So perhaps just, you know, find that back and enjoy. Dance with life. Sagittarius, that has been your reading. Again, thank you for tuning in. Please do, as always, take what resonates, leave whatever doesn't. Don't force anything to fit in your situation, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care. Until next time.